This is your boy Precision Connections at precisionconnectionsorder.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Visit and check out my website. We got a 2004 Nissan Maxima, and I'm throwing in a radio. I gotta pick pick whichever is the best radio out of the two. Customer supplied this. Good friend of mine done several calls for this per particular person. Um, so this radio, everything kind of works, but the wiring, as you can see, is all jacked up. That's why it's always good to do work with a guy like me. So this is the before. This is what somebody did to kind of get the factory radio going. So I'm going to have to clean this up a little bit. Or a lot. <laughs> And I'm gonna take this radio out, put something in new. Already did the system in the back. So um, I'm just gonna run the RCA to the front. Remote turn on, install, install the kit. And that'll be it. So get your popcorn, get your beer, whatever you like to drink, orange juice, soda, whatever, and enjoy the ride. Try to knock out these four screws. Normally these screws are real tight, but in the case that this radio was already removed, there's no thread lock in there. That's the reason why these screws are normally and usually tight on the Nissans, because they put thread locking. I don't know for what reason. I guess it's a security thing that they would put thread locking on the radio terminals. Or it could be because of the heating, I don't know, but they use thread locking. Let me get this onto the other side. So I'm just gonna slide this radio out. Might have to drill out this screw right here. The screw is all jacked up, so I'm gonna have to drill this out. Well, that's not gonna work. I don't wanna kill my battery, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop all the, the rest of the screws off of this panel and just wiggle it out. A little trick you guys can pick up. You got it? They couldn't find the um, antenna that goes with the car. So what you wanna do in a case like this where you just have one screw that's holding you back, you, you remove the rest of the screws and just wiggle this. I don't know if I can wiggle it and hold the camera at the same time. Let me try to wiggle it and hold the camera. You wiggle it and it's gonna loosen up the, the thread lock because everything is riding on this metal plate right here. So all you wanna do is kind of wiggle the radio. Damn, I can't get a stability. You see how that the, the screw just moved? See, it would have been better if I had did this before drilling out, attempted to drill out the screw. So I might not even be able to get it out now. Whatever, with a screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah, wow, I was able to get it out. All right, so instead of me standing here all day drilling, 
and I got a lot of cars to work on. What I did was just remove the screws from the rest of the um, unit, being that it's just one screw that's holding me back, and just wiggle it out. So now I can just replace these screws in the remaining part of the radio. This way it'll be easy for me to line up the, the new radio with the bracket. So like a job like this, probably 30, 45 minutes. Being that I'm, you know, shooting a video, it kind of slows me down because I'm trying to get the camera to be stable, as stable as possible. Which is not good right now. This particular screw with the coarse threading goes in the plastic housing, which is right here. Very awkward. I gotta get a tripod. I'm gonna buy a tripod to do my videos. So you wanna put all the screws in This way, <laughs> and I can just remove out the radio. So they gave you back the radio over there. Man, I, I went there, this freaking thing expired about a year ago. <sighs> yeah, I'm like, fuck it. So, so what they told you? They was like, nah, they, they, they was like, there's nothing they can do. Told you. It's like, damn. I don't think this is gonna fit though. Huh? This might be a little bit too big. What if I take the bracket out? Will we get the bracket in there to fit? Maybe. <sighs> You cut pieces of it to make it fit or? Nah, it comes with the, um, this is the kit right here. Oh, all right. So you gotta do is put that piece on there. That comes with the radio? Or? No, no, here oh, with the car? That separate. Oh, wow. If this don't fit, I'm just gonna put the, the old radio in there. Yeah. This one, it might not fit. It might. If that bracket can't come off, it didn't work. Because I tried to put it in here, but it was too big. Uh, that's what that's what he liked, right? Huh? Uh, I'm like, I heard him from far away. I'm like, this fucker was in the back the whole time. <laughs> Yo, I thought you was, I heard you uh, clearing your throat. I thought you was laying down in the back. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Damn, I'm that loud? Yo, that, that's, that's, a, that's what you wanted to put in, right? But that, what's, that, this one is the one I fit? Yeah, that's a bigger ring. Uh, yeah, the one is, that, the one of them is too big for mine. I think you'll fit your car perfect. Hey. About to find out. Yeah, I had a check engine light that came on my car. My check engine light came on and then it went off and just go back off again. It came back on or no? It was on, no, not yet. Like, it's been it like the entire day on and after that, it just go off by itself. It could be an evap, evap problem. Uh, 
Yeah, they, maybe the gas yeah. company. Probably, yeah, but I would be getting some cheap gas too. They put regular on that though? Yeah. That car takes, yeah, I think that car takes regular. Yeah, for regular. Might get like a super duper car, then I put some better fuel. When you get the wing what? Fuck yeah. <sighs> it's the gold, that's what I'm saving for now. <laughs> How much does it go for? It depends, anywhere from 40 to 50. It's like 32 base model, but if you if you get that car, the custom the custom part like cost more because you're gonna have to get you know custom like exactly. custom tires and shit like that and the, the wheels. And That's why you gotta get it like like regular. Yeah. Nothing in there. Don't pay for no extra shit. Exactly. Oh, and you, you do put the your shit. Own shit on. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's a bread. If I can lift it up with some nice wheels in there. The, the dealer will charge you extra for this shit, like mad like, extra. I'm put five percent tint on this shit. <laughs> All black on black, get ghost shit, nigga. <laughs> Yo, how you get around the the um the inspection though? I know somebody. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I heard this shit is so you know they yeah. You got tests real fast inspection. That's the only way they could nigga <laughs> they could stop people from getting tests in New York City. They, they thought about that shit really good, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's a small one. We're gonna go about the inspection guys. <laughs> <laughs> so they put the blame on them. Yeah. yeah. Cause I, I was reading it online and it was like they gonna go after the inspection. Mm -hmm. Like whoever inspected that car, yeah. they could possibly go after them. Yeah. It's like it's like if you got it after the inspection, there's nothing they can do. Yeah, about I it. mean, yeah, 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 yeah. You can do that. Yeah, yeah. But yo, as soon as you pull up next to them, goes <coughs> up, you got inspection. You're not gonna pass. Yep. Like shit. Oh, well, so I see the tents. They say they're gonna pass. Yeah, the you're not gonna pass. You didn't even put it in the car. In the, you know, like oh, they got a, they got a new machine. Like remember the one that goes. Yeah, it's, that, it's like the magnet. Yeah, two sides. you yeah. know why? Because the dollar van drivers he was cutting the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. I just saw the dollar van right. Nigga took the fucking red light from from the when you turn them back right here till the mm. app. Mm. Just stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. I'm like, what the fuck? He take every light, you know? fucking like, uh, like literally, like every light on, on Archer. Cause you know there ain't no cops there. <laughs> I was, I was in one last night. Yo, this, and this, this dude was, was going like, yeah, 80. Yeah, yeah. He was, was banging lights, banging lights, banging lights. Cause wow. they want to get as, you know, as many customers as they can. Yeah, yeah they want to get that wrong. Yeah, too. yeah, that's. Man, you're they putting everybody's life, life in danger, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Why? I'm like, there was a little girl in the front seat too. Oh, it shit. was, it would have been a wrap. Yeah. And they would have probably blamed the other person. Like, oh, you took the red light? Yes, he was blaming everybody. <laughs> you you not moving fast. You know, you <laughs> know, <laughs> he was already blaming people. Right <laughs> <laughs> like, now, nah, nigga, you going to fast. <laughs> Why you mad at me because I'm going my number way? Yeah. yeah he was blaming everybody. <laughs> They don't even want you to park in the streets or something. Yeah. You gotta park in your driveway. Yeah, yeah, because everybody have a driveway. Yeah, yeah, everybody has a driveway. Yeah, but if you have like a big family, uh, you asked out. Uh, it depends on the part, too. Yeah, it depends on the part, yeah. yeah. Some people you can't park in front of their house. Yeah, I, when, like. <laughs> you put the cops in your ride like you're No, they <laughs> tell you move your car. You like, see how you, you park it, like you move your car. Some of them, at, 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 after 8 o'clock, you can't park on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. One time I parked out there and the cops, they called me. <laughs> like, yo, you gotta move your car. I'm like, how you get my number? You probably made a report before. No, no, you know how? And DMV, they have your number when you register. Oh, that's crazy. They'll call you. Do so you like, like New York City, they don't call you. Yeah. But Long Island, they'll call you. I fucking auntie mom, right? They call me, right? I said, I hope this thing is fired out. I'm gonna be honest. Niggas call me, see if she's gonna go to my credit if I don't pay this shit. I'm like, five dollars? She's like, I want my five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pay this motherfucker. I'm like, what the fuck? Five dollars? You just can't let this shit go? Like, take this shit and lose my number. No, I'm like, yo, here you go, man. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate you.
that game. I didn't want to give you a reason to question your gratitude. You got Haitian. I'm trying to go somewhere, bro. Get oh, I thought you said you trying to you get ready for the summer. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it like on my three day weekend. I'm gonna just add like two more days of it. Of it. Like, go somewhere for like five days. Five days? Yeah. Let's see. I'm about to make Safi give me a freaking water pass. Yo, mm -hmm. Lily, whatever her name is, did she put me on that flying thing? I don't know. She you ask her to put you on it? No, I don't talk to her like that. You told us about some bullshit about you and Summertime. Oh, yeah. Summertime. Yeah. It's probably about to fight. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't even know exactly, you don't even mean much. Let's see if I'm at 12, I'm back on the... Uh, you got to do it for two people, you know, it's a swap. Yeah, that's a bad thing. I'm never going to run out of here. 